strong style. I can never really say enough about this place. This path is walked by few, but revered by many. Spilling blood, sweat, and tears is encouraged. Required, really. These mats have seen many grow and flourish. They've also seen many break and whimper. That's why most of us are here, for the ones that strive for more. For the ones that walk these halls, that spend the time when they could be spending it elsewhere, doing something easy, something that demands less, something much less rewarding. And if you ask me, why strong style? It's very simple. Family's first, and strong style is family. We have each other's backs, there's value at every corner, and we just want to see everyone successful. Plus, look at me. I have a blast at this place. Say hi to Bob. Poor bastard. One thing is guaranteed at Strong Style, and it's that you'll be forced to grow. You won't be alone, though. There will be help. We take care of each other here. The Strong Style Army is one, and there's no better feeling than being one. Now come. Controlled Chaos 5. As always, thank you guys for being here, and I appreciate you for watching. If you find value in this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share so that other people can find it and receive the value as well. This week, I want to talk about a few things that I love and get massive value out of, as you just saw with the little snippet I did of Strong Style. You get to see a new supplement I found, courtesy of fellow fighter AJ Dobson, that has done wonders for me since the time that I've started taking it. Two books that I'm incredibly hot on and why that is as well as a group of people that live with an incredible mindset that is very awe-inspiring and certainly something every one of us has had to face in our own lives. So let's get rolling. We got here the Imosh Seamoss. Mine being half empty because this stuff is liquid gold. It's got 92 out of the 110 important minerals and nutrients that your body is made up of. So this thing is chock full of everything that you need to be healthy. It's packed full of iron, about nine times more than chicken has. So that's gonna give us a lot of energy considering a lot of people suffer from a lack of iron or an iron deficiency. It also helps battle inflammation, helps strengthen the immune system to prevent sickness. I really can't say enough about this stuff and what it does for me personally and for many others. And this particular brand of CMOS is actually a Jamaican CMOS brought to us by AJ Dobson, an MMA fighter that comes and cross trains at Strong Style as well as being a regular at Westside Barbell in Columbus. So not only are you helping yourself by giving you the nutrients you really need, but you're helping a local guy that works hard, not only in the gym, but outside of the gym to do something that's good for other people and helps improve health. I actually made up a page specifically on my website just for his product because I believe in it so much and want my people to know about it and use it and get the benefits that myself and many others get. So check it out. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, right here. Man, this is one of the more transformative books I've found since starting my journey focusing on personal growth and high achievement. You know, from the start, they talk about the power of thought, desire, faith, using your imagination, specialized knowledge, planning, the whole nine yards, they cover it all. Anything that has to do with fortunes that have been made by any successful person ever, I mean, it's in here. It just so beautifully combines storytelling with actionable information that you can pull out of the book, put into your own life, and see results really immediately. When the opportunity came, it appeared in a different form from a different direction than Barnes had expected. 
That is one of the tricks of opportunity. It has a sly habit of slipping in by the back door and often comes disguised in the form of misfortune or temporary defeat. This is what we all experience in trying to do anything, really. If you're reaching towards a new goal at work, a new goal in your personal life, whatever it is, you're going to encounter adversity. You're going to encounter roadblocks. And it's going to be hard. But these setbacks, these defeats, they are temporary. As long as you treat them that way. The defeats are only final if you allow them to be final and decide to stop in your pursuit to achieving what you are trying to achieve. This book's got it all. Another individual I'm very big on is Tim Ferriss. This is Tools of Titans. You may also be familiar with the four hour work week and the four hour body. Anything this dude puts out really is incredible. Not only is Tim a very smart and very dedicated individual, but in the areas in which he might lack some knowledge, he pulls in some of the greatest minds in really any area you can think of and makes sure that they give you the information that he's not able to. This one's got it all. It's got interviews with Jamie Foxx, Wim Hof, Ron Schwarzenegger, Peter Thiel, Dan Carlin, Paulo Coelho. I mean, really what you're gonna find in here is him diving deep, asking questions of the greatest minds running around today, and they're given real life answers that you can use and help shape your own life. On top of that, Tim's got his own website, his own podcast. I'm sure if you guys just Google Tim Ferriss, you'll be loaded with stuff to take a look at and stuff to dive into. I want to take a moment to also talk about the Yes Theory guys. I mean, they're just a fantastic group of people that essentially live to seek discomfort, which is also the name of their brand of clothing. It's a very adventurous group of people. They really just seek to take on any different type of challenge that they can. Here you see them with Mr. Wim Hof. One thing I also love about Yes Theory is their email list. They send out simple text-based emails that more or less tell a story, talk about an experience that they've had firsthand, or provide information that's guaranteed to make you think about and see life a little differently. This one here in particular, a lesson from the happiest man in the world. A few years back, I was scrolling through one of my favorite blogs, Humans of New York. Humans of New York was created by photographer Brandon Stanton. Stanton has spent the past decade going around the world, taking photos of strangers and asking them deep personal questions. People get very real with them. The stories shared are often traumatic and dark and quickly make you realize you may not have it so bad. One day while scrolling through a page, I stumbled upon a photo of a fashionable older Asian man smiling and posing. It stopped me in my tracks. His quote read, I'm different than other people. I'm never sad. I make my life happy through discipline. I don't drink, I don't smoke, and I eat lots of fiber. Every day I take a walk in the park to think about my balance. I've been a chef, a fashion designer, a painter, and now I'm learning martial arts. I do Tai Chi in the park every morning. It helps give me energy for my painting. I have already learned 42 moves. I'm ahead of everyone. I'm almost 80 years old, but all the women of the group think I'm in my 50s. I swear, I read this quote 10 times. I analyzed every detail of his features. Above and below him on the blog were stories of people who were hooked on drugs or dealing with divorce or just didn't know how to get out of their own misery. This guy was an anomaly. He was the happiest man in the world. It had been years since I came across that photo, but I've thought about him every day since. He left this indelible mark in my brain, one of possibility. In a single paragraph, he outdid a hundred self-help books. He found that thing that all of us are so desperate for, constant joy. What struck me was his intentionality. His happiness wasn't random. I make my life happy through discipline. Being great at happiness is no different from being great at a sport or any endeavor. It requires deep focus and attention to detail. It means practicing day in and day out until you have acquired the skills to make yourself fulfilled. 
means removing the things that don't work for you, getting rid of distractions and negative forces that bring you down. Notice he started with what he doesn't do. I don't drink, I don't smoke. Subtract before you add. Most people wake up in the morning mad at the fact that they don't feel good. They hop on their phones, drink some caffeine, go to a school or a job they don't love while spending more time on their phones. They come home, eat an unhealthy dinner, maybe even have a drink or two, scroll through their phones again and pass out. Repeat, repeat, repeat. The happiest people I know have the most boundaries. They prioritize their own joy. They do the therapeutic work to heal their own trauma. They're selfish with their time and invest their energy in who and what they love. It's not random. You don't become great at anything by chance. Creating joy in your life takes work and intention. When I get low or feel in a rut, I think to myself, what would the happiest man in the world do right now? Would he spend time with people that don't make him happy? Would he do work that doesn't give him joy? Would he go outside? Would he learn a new hobby? I don't know his story. I don't know if he had an abnormally easy life or suffered serious setbacks. But I like but I like it that way. I like to leave it open. To not complicate it with specifics. To accept whatever life you're given, you can intentionally choose. To accept that whatever life you're given, you can intentionally choose how you operate within it. And that choice will make all the difference in how you feel. So after reading this email, maybe ask yourself, what would the happiest version of you do right now? It's a pretty great place to start. Love, Matt. Incredible. If you made it this far, thanks for sticking around. I'll make sure to include links to everything that I spoke about down in the description. Make sure you click, check out the Imash Simas, the Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, Tim Ferriss' book, Tool of Titans, Tools of Titans, yeah. and um, the Yes Theory guys. These are all things that helped me drastically, and I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to use something that's helpful to me. Check them out. You won't be disappointed. Do it. Say it. Love it. Let's go. Let's go. We're done.